In the first half of the 20th century, three million black Americans left the South for new horizons. They left behind the legacy of slavery and segregation. They were looking for a better life. The American dream. The South was, was hard living. It was hard to get education. It was no work. Only work you had was mostly was picking cotton. My father came to uh, Michigan because he said he didn't want us to be raised in the South because uh, they were treated so bad in the South and he didn't want us to come up through that. He came looking for a job. He caught a train, he hoboed. He had jobs that were real, real hard. Those are the ones that the blacks had. No matter how talented you were, no matter what you could do, it didn't make any difference because you're the wrong color. This was your job for life, as far as the blacks went, for life. I've experienced racism, which they don't kill you, but they kill your spirit if you let them. They didn't have a choice about where they wanted to go, what schools they wanted to go into. They were about three or four us living in the same little room there. Four twin beds would be used by eight men. While one guy is working the first shift, the guy who works on the second shift is sleeping in that bed. Oh, did I ever go to the sepia club? Yes, it was, it was where we had fun. And it was just striking to see the, the people and, and, and they had the jazz on and the blues and how they danced and they laughed and they had a place that they could go to. The first time I went to Idlewild, which was, of course, you know, that was a summer resort place. And everybody I saw was black. I went in the stores and all of the store clerks were black. The pharmacist was black. I'd never seen anything like that. Thoughts would come to my mind about what the world must be like in other places where black people could do anything. That changed, that changed my life. 